welcome to another video here on One Team Inertia. With the January transfer window just a week away from closing, I thought it would be good to just talk a bit about what we'd like to see happen in the rest of the window at Kilmarnock. Of course, it doesn't look like there's going to be much movement, if any at all, in terms of players coming into Rugby Park. Billy Bowie was quite specific about that in his talk with the Kelly Trust. He said there's only really the money for a striker, um, and that's kind of it. So it looks like that's going to be coming in but nothing else really, and it could be that nothing comes in at all, and we may have to just make do with the squad that we've got at the minute. So I think it's clear from, from the fans' comments and what everyone's saying that a striker is really the top priority for the club. We only really have uh, Nike Kabamba and Danny Whitehall at the minute that can really play in that position naturally, and neither of them have been scoring you know, tons of goals. Obviously, Whitehall's done well when he's come in, but I think a, a, just a striker that can, we know can put the ball in the back of the net and... Just trying to take some more of the chances that we've been creating is really something that, that we need and someone who can link up well with Greg Kilty through the middle of the park um, is a big must because goals have been quite a problem this season a lot of games we had a run of eight games where we didn't score um, at all so you know that was like a huge huge issue so if we can try and get a striker in you know whether it be a young guy or a journeyman just someone who knows how to stick the ball in the back of the net and, and has a proven track record that would be um, fantastic. It looks like that, that's the most likely player to come in, um, if any, in the next week or so. Um, one of the big sort of talking points this season, one of the big criticisms of the team is that there's not been a whole load of pace in it um, and they'll be missing missing that pace to get from back to front, you know, quickly um, and try and, you know, move, progress things forward quickly. It just seems to really slow down when we get in the midfield area and the other team can get players back. Um, we've not really been able to score many you know, breakaway goals or counter-attack goals and um, just got a lack of pace in the team, um, to be brutally honest. We don't really have like a Jordan Jones type or, or anyone like that who can drive forward quickly. Rory McKenzie can do it to an extent, but it's just not quite as effective and he prefers to come back and um, slow the play down anyway. That's his kind of style. So just someone who's able to get us forward quickly would be a, a big addition and would probably help because um, Pinnock is kind of in that role but I don't think he's been quite as effective as maybe the club hoped um, when they first brought him in so a uh, pacey winger is something that we look at certainly in January but uh, hopefully long term as well um, a centre back as well we could really use another one to cover what we've got um, at the minute we really only have three centre backs um, fit uh, in Dicamona, Finlay and Broadfoot and although they've, you know, they've been good at different times this season the uh, the red cards um, have been a real issue and um, there's been a couple of injuries in there as well so um, if Zeno Ibsen Rossi isn't going to make it back in time for the rest of the season then it would be good to have some cover um, in there but if Ibsen Rossi is going to get back then that's perfect because he's been really impressive so far in his Kilmarnock uh, spell and uh, looks like a really good centre back so um, that's sort of lower down the pecking order for a centre back um, and then a, a creative midfielder as well perhaps um, would be good to get certainly going forward into the summer and and beyond because I think at the minute we're really relying a bit on, on Greg Kilty to create most of the chances and, and create most of the play in the middle of the park and if he was to get injured you know god forbid then um, we'd be in some some big big trouble in that regard so um, a creative midfielder would be good at the minute we've got Greg Kilty and, and that's fantastic and, and he's doing you know so well he's, he's basically man of the match every week but uh, if we can get try and get someone else in that, that knows how to you know link the midfield and the attack then that would be absolutely fantastic in terms of other areas of the pitch I think we're pretty well covered goalkeeper Danny Rogers has been relatively solid for most of the season he had a wee you know rough patch a couple of games ago where he, he made two mistakes in two games but he saved us so many points in so many games and, and it's having truly Fantastic season. Aaron McGowan has pretty much locked down that, that right back position. And you'd have to say that Honstrup as well has really locked down the left back position as well. Callum Waters obviously coming in as well. And then Ross Mellon on the other side if needed. Centre midfield, you know, we're absolutely sorted for. We've got Maloon, Boutish, Bola, Power, um, and then Dicker when he comes back as well. So plenty of quality in that area to choose from. Really, the only thing that we need to think about in the next couple of months is trying to get people tied down on long-term contracts because at the minute we've only got four or five senior players tied down beyond the end of the season so that's a real issue and there's players like uh, Greg Kelty and, and Gary Dicker, uh, Stuart Finlay for instance you know if we don't get a contract they're gone they're gone at the end of the season and we don't get any money for them never mind getting to keep them 
beyond this season. So that's a real, real issue. And hopefully, uh, you know, the, the board are working behind the scenes to get those um, to get the, those deals done. But obviously, it all depends on the financial situation as well. And as we know from uh, the board's sort of candid interview with the Healy Trust the other night, it's, it's not that simple. And finances have certainly been been hit pretty hard. Um, I think they reckoned up to a million pounds. So. Um, you know, big work to do in the next couple of months. Um, will we get someone in in the next week? We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but if we do, it's certainly going to be a striker. Um, but longer term, certainly to get players on long term contracts and try and build, rebuild this team again. Because um, it's sort of at the minute crumbling away a little bit. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Um, if there's any sort of real issues that need to be solved in the next week or so in the transfer window, or looking long term as well. You know who should we be? Who should be we be getting done on on long term contracts, and who should we be letting go? Um, and what should we be looking to to try and get in the summer transfer window as well? So uh, let me know, and I'll see you in the next video.